everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Violet and this is Violet Tribes Panning. In today's video, it is going to be a two-part series, possibly more, just depending on how it goes, of a new series, a little title and series thing I wanted to start and I came up with on a whim called Cash in the Trash. So, if you're wondering what it is, stay tuned. So, let's get into part one. So, what is Cash in the Trash? It's a fun little name I came up with, basically how I feel every single time I declutter an item from my makeup collection, literally throwing dollar bills, $20 bills, any sort of bill, directly in the trash. So this is a new sort of way, sort of declutter type thing, but not, it's got a fun little title. We're not actually going to go through each and every drawer and declutter or specific types of um categories of my makeup collection um i mean this one is specific to eyeshadow just because um throughout this year so far i started a four looks one palette series on my channel uh, on my channel on my instagram to, to kind of determine whether i would keep a palette or declutter it uh so that just kind of stemmed from there um and through that series i have decluttered some palettes as well as other ones that i did not even get a chance to use or won't get a chance to use this year and i've said you know what out with it i am not even gonna use these i didn't even like them when i used them the last time why am i keeping them so that is essentially the premise of this series so the first four palettes are all from the same brand all from the same line um i don't have the two other ones in this sort of a collection because I have long since decluttered them. The two, um, the other two that I do have with me and I recently just used in a Four Looks One palette series. I'm not sure when that's coming up on my Instagram, but definitely stay tuned if it's always a link in the description box if you'd like to follow me there. But um, they are the AY Studio Pop Pop Quads. They came out with these several years ago now and I bought all four because they all looked intriguing and I thought, oh, cool, like little quick palettes for little quick looks. If this was an absolute 100% uh, impulse purchase, had different names, so this one is called Zinnia, which is their all matte palette. And I think I just purchased through because I don't really care for, technically for small palettes like this, because of the, I like the functionality. I like that it's very easy. You can create a quick eye look. You can kind of go out the door. But my thing is this: when do I actually gravitate towards like a everyday, neutral, simple sort of look? Never really. Here also that I have is named Brandy. Funny enough, um, and this one's got three mattes, one shimmer. The other ones, I will pop them on the screen, and if I remember, I remember one, I think also being another matte, or they had like two shimmers, two mattes, or something like that. It was like a very off-balance, in my opinion, not really thought out, sort of quads, because, I mean, if you look at this one, a lot of these colors are similar. If you look at this one, you have two similar shades, you have an orange here, and there's not much variety you can do in these, so... That is my main reason for getting rid of these. And the next palettes, technically it's five, but I'm counting it all as one because it's supposed to be like a all-in-one sort of palette, um, but just like different color stories in them. But these are from a brand called Beauty Bar. These were gifted to me. And it's, there's nothing wrong with quality. There's nothing wrong with the shadows. There's nothing wrong with any of them not showing up. There's nothing wrong at all whatsoever with these. My only thing is that it came in a really huge bulky plastic packaging and it had a bunch of little windows for each of these um, shadow color stories and it was sitting in my drawer, it was taking up a lot of space, I used them like once, um, I used up one shadow in one of these palettes, never touched them again and I was like, when am I ever going to use these again? Probably never. This color story here is the like smoky with the little blue and they each came with a lip gloss and then the bottom pan is supposed to be a blush. Um, but yeah, I threw away the lip glosses because I didn't use none of them. And then the next palette here is more pinky, rosy tones, which yes, they are tones I use, but I just, I probably have a lot of these in my collection that's similar, better quality, um, and just ones that I gravitate more. The next one is more of a subdued, sort of like almost cool tone pinky palette. Um, I tried to depot this pan because it was going to be my next focus. Shed shedding, I'm not shedding anything, setting a shade. Um, and it ended up being too dark. So I was like, well, what am I going to do now? Or I think I like messed it up. 
I pour too much alcohol. It's one of those reasons. But then the next one is the more neutral all round palette. I finished this set. Why can I speak? I finished this shadow here um, at the top corner. Uh, I am pretty proud of that one. And um, yeah, so I just. Am I ever going to use browns on a daily? No, that's not me. And the last one, and this is what I was talking about, they came in like a little case so you can travel with it. So this is the inside. It is supposed to have a mirror here, which I will not really like flash out with. And then this one is another like neutral, sort of like more um, orangey toned, with like copper and a green. <laughs> when do I ever use these? I mean, I use oranges on the daily, like a lot because I love orange shadows. But for an everyday look, I cannot do the same or use the same palette every single day for a long time and enjoy it. I get so bored. I need color. I need unusual pairings. I need this on my eyes rather than this. That is everything I would want to talk about in this video. Let me know if you like the series. Is it something to continue? Um, just any feedback in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And as out. As always, have a rest, have a good rest of your day and or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys.